Assalamu alaikum everybody hope so you are doing well so today in this video we will discuss the major ecosystems and specifically we will discuss the forest ecosystem along with their categories their characteristics and the life that is inhabiting those ecosystems so moving towards to our outlines in outlines we have the major ecosystems the forest ecosystem the categories of the forest ecosystem introduction of those categories along with their location their characteristics and the plant and animal life inhabiting those ecosystems so moving towards to our first slide here we have some major ecosystems that were discussed in the previous video if you haven't checked that video we will share the link in the description box do check it out there uh, the major ecosystems are forest grassland desert tundra and freshwater today in this video we will discuss the forest ecosystem along with their categorization and their characteristics so uh, the forest ecosystem is a functional unit or a system which comprises of soil trees insects animals birds and man as its interacting unit it is basically the interaction of the living community with the abiotic components that are responsible for the survival of those living organisms inhabiting the forest ecosystems the pictures are quickly describing what a forest means and we ourselves know what it is it has the following three categories these are the following classifications in which a forest system is categorized tropical rainforest temperate deciduous forest coniferous alpine and boreal forest in tropical rainforest these rainforest are those that occur in areas of tropical rainforest climate in which there is no dry season there is the continuous rainfall uh, the temperature there is above the normal that means it is below the freezing point the picture describe the tropical rainforest these are mainly located between the latitude of 23.9 degree north the tropic of cancer and 23.5 degree south the tropic of capricorn the characteristics of the tropical rainforest are the rainfall in the tropical rainforest is 200 to sorry it's 2000 to 10000 mm that means there is a continuous rainfall and there is no dry season there the temperature there is 20 degree to 25 degree celsius and the soil condition there is grayish brown less fertile maximum water holding capacity as there is continuous rainfall they are poor in organic matter and nutrients that's why we can conclude from these categoristics that tropical rainforest inhabits a very few a limited amount of organisms that have these sort of requirements from the ecosystem the plants and animal life inhabiting tropical rainforest is the dominant plants in the tropical rainforest are orchards philodendrons ferns kapop trees banana trees rubber trees the dominant animals there are sloths tapirs jaguars and tigers howler monkeys and spider monkeys moving towards the second category of the temperate deciduous forest is the forests that are located in the mid latitude areas which means that they are found between the polar regions and the tropics the plants in the temperate deciduous forest shed their leaves during dry season if we talk about these forests in pakistan these are located in the neelam valley and shogra and if we talk about these forests worldwide these are located in india southeast asia china australia japan north and south america the characteristics of the temperate deciduous forest are the rainfall there is 750 to 1500 mm that is the average rainfall and the temperature there is 4 degree celsius to 30 degree celsius that is considered as moderate temperature the soil condition of the temperate deciduous forest is they are gray grayish brown in color very fertile 
maximum water holding capacity rich in organic matter and nutrients that means they can produce a large variety a large diversity of organisms that can inhabit this ecosystem as this is the most moderate forest the plant and animal life inhabiting temperate deciduous forest is the dominant plants in the temperate deciduous forest are texas baccata pinus wallichiana berberus lyceum herbs shrubs grasses ferns liverworts and lichens dominant animals that inhabit the temperate deciduous forest that are living and that have the suitable conditions for their survival in the temperate deciduous forest are macaca mulata that is basically resist monkey black bear phallus bengalensis that is leopard cat deer and wolves a large variety of organisms inhabit the inhabit the temperate deciduous forest and some microorganisms along with bacteria fungi and earth forms are also present there moving towards the third category of the forest ecosystem we have the coniferous alpine and boreal forest temperate coniferous forest is a terrestrial biome defined by the world wild fund for nature temperate coniferous forest are found predominantly in areas with warm summers and cool winters and vary in their kind of plant life if we talk about these forests in pakistan we have upper kagan chalas malanjaba savats valley in the world we can uh, we can say the coniferous alpine and boreal forest are in eurasia that is a combination of europe and asia north america canada and some other places the coniferous alpine and boreal forest have two names that are alpine forest and the boreal forest this is basically the classification of these forest alpine forests are those that are located at high altitude while the boreal forests are those that are located at high latitude the characteristics of the alpine and boreal forest are the rainfall there is 300 to 900 mm that is more than the moderate the temperature there is up to 10 degrees celsius sometime there is a constant cover of snow that is categorized by the long severe winter temperature can be below the freezing point and there is a snow cover the soil there is acidic which is light colored and low organic matter and nutrient supply so a limited amount of uh, we can say a limited category or biodiversity of organisms inhabit the coniferous alpine and boreal forests the plant and animal life inhabiting the coniferous alpine and boreal forest is is pinus wallichiana pinus roxburghi abies pindro sadurus deodara the dominant animals that are inhabiting the coniferous alpine and boreal forest are bison wolf black bear marco polo sheep kashmir flying squirrel and wolverine wolverine if you are looking to the second part or the detail of the grassland ecosystem desert ecosystem tundra ecosystem and freshwater ecosystem stay tuned we will be describing each and everything in the next video thank you for watching everybody